Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Open Broadcaster software to broadcast with Facebook Live. Now the issue, if you have a Mac as I do, is that it fails to connect when selecting the stream from OBS. And under the settings here, if you go under stream and just select Facebook Live under streaming service, this is probably what you all are doing it's like in the default putting in that stream key it's not working it fails to connect and I'm going to show you that really quickly so you can know what I'm talking about so when I go to this URL and all the URLs I'm using will be posted down in the description below so you can use the test it, when I go to create a live stream and share on my timeline I'm going to just kind of build up here and then it's going to build the video stream it's going to give me a unique stream key to stream with if I select this stream key and just copied all that, I'm going to say test broadcast. And the video title, I'm just going to call it test broadcast as well. Make sure I copy this, open up my broadcast software, and I put it in here. I show, and I'm like, yep, that looks all correct, and I say OK. If I hit start streaming, it's going to fail. Are you sure you want to start the stream? I say yes. Bam! Failed to connect to server. Like, why is this happening? And I've been searching and looking around and I came across the issue. And this is why I'm putting this video together to show you how to make this work. So I'm just going to say okay and I'm going to min min minimize this window. Now, this is the default port and everything that it gives us to broadcast live with Facebook. Well, the port is wrong. That's the issue. So, what I've found out doing some Googling around is that a lot of times RMTP port 80 fails. But for RTMP as well, well, RMTP, let me get that correct, RMTP, so the Real Media Time Protocol that is used to stream these videos. It succeeds on 1935. It also succeeds on 443, which is good because 443 is secure. But I've tried the 443 port and it fails too. So, 1935 is the port that we want to remember. We open up our broadcast software and go back under settings. And under our stream option, we'll want to select custom streaming server. Now going back to our Facebook page here and our live stream, we're going to go ahead and copy this URL out. Come back into OBS and then the URL paste this. But we're not going to use port 80, we're going to use port 1935. And then we're going to come back to Facebook again and we're going to get our stream key. Come back to our OBS software, put in our stream key. So you can always double check and make sure that looks right and then say OK. Now watch this. When I click start streaming, are you sure I can start the stream? Yes I do. Absolutely. It is connecting and now it goes to a stop streaming. You then can come back to your page here and this window will change once your stream is up. And as you can see, the stream is now up. And that's all you need to do to go live with Facebook using OBS software. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up.